I'm Alexander Rennie, and I'm driving along the A141 before the draining of the sand. This was all marshland. Whereas now, I can move at a steady 60 miles an hour. My destination today is the Cambridgeshire market town of March. March, Cambridgeshire. Population 21,669. Rank number 491. Residents of March are spoiled for ecclesiastical choice inasmuch as they are served by no fewer than 11 churches. However, first amongst these has to be St. Windrader's. The late poet laureate, Sir John Betjamin, stated that it was worth a 40-mile cycle in a headwind to see this church, and particularly its spectacular hammer beam roof. I, however, have no such impediment, as I merely have a 15-minute walk in fairly clement weather. See you at the church. The guidebook to St. Wendrader's is justly proud of the carved wooden angels adorning its roof, but strikes a controversial note by drawing our attention to a carving of the devil himself nestling amidst these heavenly figures between the first and second clerestory windows on the north side of the church. An injection of wit into the mundanity of a long-running carpentry project at the turn of the 16th century, or something more sinister. On our way back towards town, we find a stone cross, unprepossessing but many centuries old, though restored in more recent times. The plaque here, coupled with some lazy internet investigation on my part, reveals that the devil himself considered the Fenland as his own and thwarted all attempts to build churches here by pulling them down during construction. However, the erection of this crucifix alongside the B1101 put him right off his demonic work and March duly became a town fit for clean living human beings. With that grim inevitability of a bank holiday weekend, it's starting to rain, and I think the nearby location of the Rosen Crown may give me a handy stopping point from which to assess March. Sounds fun. <laughs> I'll uh, find the corner back, please. <laughs> it's not like, not like a sage crown, is it? Yeah. Thanks very much. Thus armed with a very non-local pint, I sit back, relax, and let Mark Goodyear weave his AOR magic over the radio waves. Today, he's celebrating the ongoing battle between God and Satan here in March by playing the ever-popular Sparks classic, This Town Ain't Big Enough for the Both of Us. <laughs> Load up on pork scratchings. This could be a heated debate. Well, it's still raining out here. Something I'm sure that wouldn't have happened under the tragically short-lived administration of the county of the Isle of Ely, of which, bizarrely in spite of the name, this March was the county town. As I head back towards town, there's signs of affluence here, not just the size of the houses, and indeed, the beauty of the gardens here being maintained presumably by a hired labourer um, with a leaf blower. Uh, if that's not evidence of having too much money, I don't know what is. Tinged with a vague sense of regret, I close the chapter on Cambridgeshire. This has been Alexander Rennie bringing you another Forgotten Town. I've been everywhere. I've been to Reno, Chicago, Fargo, Nelson, Lake, Bradford, Buxton, Crewe, Warrington, Witness, Wigan, Leeds, Manitoba, Philip, Baron, Quilla, and Padilla. I'm a killer. I've been everywhere, man.